Hi kids, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to install reporting services in Visual Studio 2026. So let's open there Visual Studio 2026. Microsoft Visual Studio 2026. Then after open any of the project or you can create so the next is let's go on this extension manage extension so for this one net should be there and on this search box right there reporting then service reporting services here you can see microsoft reporting services project 2022 plus so you need to click this and this number of download this come from microsoft you need to click on this install button so when you click on this install button here the file of microsoft data tools reporting services vsix file is now downloading Now you can see Microsoft Data Tool Reporting Services file that's downloaded. Let's click on this open file. And this here, VSIX, currently this is initializing. Now, oh, this is initializing and now I'm going to close this one. And then after this is currently initializing. Let's open the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. Now here you can select this place Visual Studio 22. So there I'm going to use the Visual Studio Enterprise 2026. Let's click on this install. So this is now modifying and here going to connect with the SSMS. So this here, Adam is the database, this table that's percent there. This is the table and now currently this is installing the Microsoft Reporting Services project. Now you can see install complete Visual Studio Enterprise 2026 this tunnel. Now then after let's open the Visual Studio again and let's go on this create a project there on this search box right there reporting Reporting, then you can get here reporting server project. Then this you can create here empty. So this option that selecting there, click on this next and click on this create. Click on next here. Let's click on this add it. Server name giving here local host and select the database and click on this OK. Then uh, let's click on this next query builder, select a star from HR dot employees. HR employees, now you can see or uh, this here employees table, HR employees, here you can see HR employees. The next is let's click on this OK and next matrix or tabular so this is the matrix form and this is the tabular matrix that's selecting there 
then after here display field that's going to select and uh, on this last name let's select there and uh, salary I want to select this here or uh, the next is let's uh, use their columns this place and this here rows so manager hire date and selecting their job ID now this selecting their details now this order let's click on this next here you can enable the drill down and now let's click on this finish so reporting that's generated here now thereafter here you can edit this all according to your requirement reporting here or text box is there here you can uh, change the color by default this is black and now let's click on this preview so this is the previous exam here is the record report 100 this record that's displaying if you want to see the another day 101 employees this is the data is there 102 103 this all that's just blank there. You can go on this previous section here, last page. You can move on. This is the replace and this print, and here, page setup options are there. So, this is how we can install reporting services in Visual Studio 2026. So, I hope, guys, this video is helpful for you. So, now in this video, it's over. So, thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.